Welcome to my store. Okay, we're here at this man's house to uh, do this pond. Hello, uh, Derek. Hello. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do the speediest pond cleaning I can possibly do. Okay, now people have seen me do the speed fish tank. I did a 360 gallon fish tank in real time the other day, 30 minutes. My son erased the last two segments, so I can't prove it. <laughs> so all he's got is on there is, uh, yeah, Dad, I'm sorry, I kind of didn't dump the trash forever. <laughs> so because the trash wasn't dumped, we couldn't upload anything without dumping everything that was left in the queue. Yeah. Okay, so there's a prom video in there. People, if you haven't seen the prom video by now, leave a message. I'll remind the boy because you want to see it. My boy asked a girl to a prom in a rather unique fashion, and we did a video. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is start and uh, go as fast as we possibly can. Cool. Oh, oh. Lost the camera. Almost lost the camera. That's normal, too. <laughs> Our very first video... We were doing it all professional and everything. We had a flood. <laughs> Left those running up, forgot, and uh, my subscribers know all about my stuff. <laughs> I'll the camera. Okay, so yeah, that's good. All fine. We got the pump and a garbage can to keep the crap out of it. The intake broke, so uh, cheaper to buy a garbage can at a dollar store. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go with the water. Okay, so this is going to be a little loud for a moment. We're just going to clean off the evergreen needles off the water.
condo, eh? Well, you're going to want branches and stuff, but one of the things about this one is the amount of uh, maple leaves and stuff. Yeah. Maple leaves are actually more of a pain than uh, this. Yeah? Yeah, because this stuff is easier to snag up. Maple leaves, by this time of the year, they're all rotten and falling rotten. apart. Yeah. They clog up the net. They clog up everything. Where's some pine needles, eh? Pine needles are actually pretty good because they don't bind together so tight. Yeah, I suppose. Eh? They don't decompose as much, probably, either. Well, this uh, will be very acidic water here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like... You take those pine needles and put them around your strawberries, you'll get really sweet tasting strawberries. Okay. And yeah. no slugs. Uh, See, slugs don't like to crawl in them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you had some gravel here. Uh, what do you want me to do? Just kind of try to clean the stuff off the gravel or move the gravel? Um, I just clean it off, I guess. Just kind of clean it off? Yeah. Don't you tape it out of the way too much? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah, well, I assume there's going to be more needles fall down next week. Yeah, I mean, they don't stop. Yeah. Well, I got one in my back here that's uh, non-stop as well. I actually like to take this pine tree down, but it probably won't happen. Well, last fall, I said to my son, what we want to do is take some evergreen needles, put them around the... Uh, strawberry bed so that in the spring when they come up they come up through the needles yeah. he says yes dad i go out there this spring you know what he did cedar uh. <laughs> what on earth use cedar is to keep slugs sure it'll make the strawberry sweeter but the cedar tree is like 10 feet away the evergreen tree is like 50 feet away and my boy being like his father he went for the cedar cedar uh, yeah, yeah. And he's there going, but Dad, I thought that was what you wanted. That's funny. He is a man of like, many excuses. Apparently this morning, my son, who was raised with technology, his alarm on his Blackberry just didn't work. Of course not. Like, it's amazing. Like, people are expecting to see fun plans from my store. It's like, I'm no fun. I can't load it myself without him. So... What, uh, so what kind of fish would you recommend cooking here? Koi. Koi, yeah? Yeah. I got some really nice ones, and I'm going to get a whole bunch more uh, probably tomorrow. Because okay. I've been selling them really good. What kind of maintenance do they take? Food. Just food? Yeah. Um, so for the winter... Heater. Right? What's that? Heater. So they get a little heater? Yep. I saw the heaters. They look like a fake rock, except they're made out of plastic. Yeah. And it just... Uh, Floats in here. If you're paranoid about it for the kids, what we do is we put a two foot, we take a sheet of plywood, we rip it into two foot uh, wide sections or whatever, yeah. and we build a kind of a platform. Yeah. That way, if anybody comes walking through here in the snow, they don't go through. Okay. And the other advantage is when you've got the snow on top, this